In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the toy store on Main Street. All the stores I'm showing you how to draw are based on a square shape, which can be any size that you like. But once you decide what size you want, then why not make a template out of an old bit of card? And then you can just draw around it and you can have like all the center marks already worked out for you and psh, you're ready to go. So this is going to be the toy shop and I'm going to just start just slightly above the midline. I'm going to go across like that. And I'm going to go up there like that and then across. So this is going to be the sign above the shop. And then we'll draw a frame around it like that. And let's draw around the rest of the square. And a good black line around the edge that sort of helps you to cut it out and sort of stick all these stores together and make a diorama and if you find that too much you can go to my patreon page and download these as cut out in color or ready colored in now here we're going to have great big letters going oh let's start about like they don't look very big here but we're going to start go around like that so we're going to do Oh, no, hang on, let's start about there because that's a bit too close. Uh, y, S, toys, like that. And now I'm going to go all around the outside to make these great big kind of bubble letters like that. T, O, <laughs> Y, And then S's are really difficult, aren't they? So if we come a little bit like that and around, there we go. And we can make that a bit more interesting with these kind of shadow kind of lines like that. And a bit there, and that will come there and there and there. And then little shiny bits on there as well. Why not? A little It'll just make it look a bit more sort of shiny and big letters on the sideboard like that. And above the shop, it's just going to be a bit of a bit of old brick. So, so you don't want to draw every single brick, but we'll draw a few. And so if you draw kind of a long one and then another one halfway along like that. And then here we might do three. And then just one on its own and then come over here long one and a short one long one and a short one fit another one in there maybe another one so you don't have to draw every single brick <laughs> you can if you want uh, but um, it takes a long time and it gets a bit complicated so now what i'm going to do is draw a line across there as a bit of a plan and we've got to work out where the door is going to go. So this is the centre line. So let's take two lines at either side. So we know that that's going to be the like the thickness or well, the width of the door. Thickness of the door. That's not <laughs> thickness of the door is about like that. The width is about like that. And then we're going to want to have a short bit like that. And then we'll split that in the middle and that in the middle. So we've got like a little entrance going into the shop underneath the sign. So you've got a, <laughs> somewhere to get out of the rain. And then we also want to have two lines going across like that. So this is, oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna just draw little squares in there like that. And that will be a, a, like a, a a rectangle rather than a square. Well, they're not squares. They're all rectangles, aren't they? And then we're going to want a line across the bottom there as well. This is complicated, isn't it? Let's see what happens. We're going to start by drawing a line across to there. And then that's going to be the top of the door. And then we're going to draw another line across there. T. 
to the edge of the door. Let's draw the door frame coming down there first. That would be a good start. And then we can draw those going across there. So this is a bit of a fancy old store that's been um, on the main street for a hundred years or so. <laughs> and it, they haven't bothered to kind of do it up at all. So let's draw lines down there. And we've got these little bits. So there, just make it look a bit prettier, really. Um, oh my goodness, we're going to get even prettier still. Let's put little curves there. And we're going to want a kind of a frame in there as well. So these, this is all sort of part of the window frame kind of thing. One there as well. Another one down at the bottom. And this is where it's going to start getting complicated. You have been warned. <laughs> so I'm going to draw this little square in there. And first of all, I think actually I should take these lines up to the top. So we know where we are. OK, so we've got So this is going to be window up above. But first of all, we'll draw these little panes of glass like that. That will have a slightly wider one, short one, one like that. And this is where it starts to get complicated. So we're going to come down and across and down and across. Down, across, down, across, across, down, across, and down, up, across, up, like that. <sighs> okay, so we're going to do this all the way across the top. Down, across, down, across, down, across, down, across, across, down, across, down, across, down, across, down, down, across, down, across, down, across, down, across. OK, we can just work our way through this. There's a pattern to it, isn't there? And, oh, this is where you can go so wrong in a drawing and go completely <laughs> confused. Or you can just get bored and give up. But don't give up. Just keep working at it. And it's these little details that really make a drawing interesting. And, you know, and... and and when you're actually out and about looking in a town, go and look at how the storefronts are made. It depends. You, know, you might live in a very modern city and they're all going to be very, very modern. But you might live in an old, old place. Um, and they're, they're old buildings and they it's, it's an old building and they kind of knock a hole in and put a modern sort of front in. But this front here with all this glass and woodwork has been here for about a hundred years, I should think, something like that. Down here, we're going to want panels like that. And another one about there. And it all adds up to making it look sort of attractive and makes people want to come inside and spend their money. <laughs> Just what it's all about, isn't it? And, and I think. Actually, I think an old looking front actually works quite well for a toy shop. It kind of looks like it's old and comforting and welcoming. So the door, we're going to have a big window. We'll go about like that. Like that. And we'll have a little sign in the window saying open. You don't want to turn up and find it's closed, do you? There is. That's a letterbox, and then we'll have another kind of panel on the bottom, like that, which sort of echoes these ones on the side. Can you see how it all comes together? Now, this is where it gets a bit complicated. So we want something in, in the window, don't we? So let's have, I think we can have a, a rocking horse, something like that. Um, there. That should do it. So, so we'll have some ears and some eyes, and or we'll have a saddle as well, won't we? Like that, and then legs going back like that, 
legs are going forward like that, and a tail. And then we're going to want to have the, the rocker going like that. I think that works. That's nice and simple. And then here we might, oh, and we might have a, whew, like a, a doll or something in the window, mightn't we? Like that. It doesn't have to be very good because it's on the inside, so you can't see through the glass terribly well. And here I think we'll have like a teddy bear, like that, with his feet there, and maybe you see a bit there, and probably a, a doll's house. Why not do that? That's there's the roof and the chimneys on the top. And again, you know, if you have if you have a doll's house, <laughs> you can if you have a teddy bear or a rocking horse, you can put any toy you like in front. You can make it look like yours. And let's put some little windows in like that. Just put dots. That just makes it a lot easier. We'll have another window there. And we'll have a door. And another window. And another window. And now we need to make it look like glass, don't we? So, so some of these panels, we could just put these little lines in like that. And, and I think this could maybe even have like the number of the shop, number 66. And then in these main panels here, then if we put these little glass lines like that, and also put them across those little drawings, which you've just done beautiful drawings, and now you're drawing lines all over them. But it, those things are on the inside, and you can't see them terribly well from over the other side of the street, like where we're drawing from. And so we can put these lines in there, which slightly obscure them and make them look like they're on the inside. Now, when you're absolutely sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase any of those pencil lines as long as you didn't press too hard. Uh, if you really press hard with a the pencil, then it's, it's really difficult to rub out the marks. Then all you need to do is colour it in and subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy and come back and draw lots more stores and people and stuff on Main Street Inkwell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the sports store on Main Street. If you want to draw all the stores in Main Street Inkwell, they're all based on a square shape, which you can make any size you like. But once you've decided on the size, you want them all to be the same. So why not make a template out of an old piece of cardboard? And then all you need to do is to draw around the edges and you can have the centers already marked so that you don't have to do it every single time. Easy. Now I'm going to draw a line across the middle so I know where I am and then I'm going to draw a line about there and I'm going to have the word sport, the letters S P O R T about like that and I'm going to want circles so I can just plan these out so that they're nicely spread out like that. And that's about all the planning I need to do. So I'm going to start off by going all around the outside like this. And that makes it easy um, for if you want to cut it out. Gives you a nice good line to cut it out to. And if this is all too much for you, you can always go to my Patreon page and download a PDF which is already coloured in or cut out and colour yourself. So here I'm going to draw a little bit like that and the same distance on the other side and this is going to be like a lintel over the whole of the front of the shop like that and then it's going to come down to about there <laughs> and then we're going to do the door it will be here that will come all the way to the bottom and you want a kind of a door sort of size so that would be about there. And then we're going to want a door frame as well. So we'll have two lines like that. And then we're going to want to have another line going across. So this is the window sill, which goes across to the door frame. 
It's how you build a house or build a store. And then we're going to want to have a, a little bit across the top of the door. And we're going to call this, make, I'm going to make this number 92, I think, with the number above the door on the glass, painted on the glass, or maybe stuck on with plastic letters, who knows? We can draw the door. It's all quite simple, this door. Just go up like that for a window. We can have a little sign in the window. It says open. And we might want to have a letter box. We're going to want a handle, aren't we, so that we can get in. And then we might have another panel underneath like that and probably a door sill as well. It just sort of helps to drip the rain off so things don't rot. <laughs> so now I think we can think about this lettering. So let's, I'm just I'm drawing very, very gently here. I'm not pressing hard. Um, because I want to erase the letters afterwards. And I'm going to draw a kind of quite a thin sort of bubble lettering uh, by following around the line there. So following around the line and then on the inside of the line there. And it, I suppose it takes a bit of practice. Uh, but just take your time and you will get there. And that's the thing about drawing is <laughs> once you start, just keep going, keep going. And sometimes you think, oh, it's not good. I want to stop. But, but if you keep going, somehow it's the magic of drawing. It all comes together at the end. So we're going to have a, a circle there and a circle there. And then they are going to turn into bigger circles up here. And a bigger circle there, and a bigger circle there, and a bigger circle there. And <laughs> we're going to turn them into different kinds of sports balls like that. So if we draw little kind of triangular things like that, and then a kind of a uh, hexagon shape there, and join those lines together, that will make a football. Um, or a soccer ball. <laughs> If you live in America, that is not a football, is it? That's if you live uh, other places, that's a football. And here we could have, oh, this can be a bowls ball, something like that. And we could have a oh, tennis ball. That's kind of weird, isn't it? It has that kind of weird shape there. And then we can have a cricket ball, which has kind of stitching around the side. And let's have an eight ball like that. So let's, that'll have to be black. So put a little circle at the top and that makes it look shiny like that. There we go. And then I think we can put a little curve like that. And this is on the inside. It's got these bunting banner flags like that. And then we're going to want to have People in the wind, well, not people, they're going to be mannequins, aren't they? There's, <laughs> so let's put a head there and a head there and a smaller head down there or a lower head. And then we'll draw like a T-shirt there. And we want to draw another T-shirt. Here we're going to do it slightly at an angle like that. And then this one's going to be... Actually, let's draw it's a bit like a stick man, but it's going to be a stick woman. So she's got her top like that. And we can put her arms in there and they don't need hands. Well, you can put little things on the end can't they? <laughs> like that. So, so we want to make them look like they're in action poses, don't we? There, so like they're doing something sporty. And then we're going to have some shorts and some shorts. And she can have some leggings like that. 
and those are her legs and those will be his legs <laughs> like that they're a bit bandy aren't they like that and then we put little triangles on the bottom for their fancy sports shoes that they're wearing like that and she's got hers on there her fancy trainers like that now this is all inside the window and this is all class so now we're going to start ruining that beautiful picture <laughs> by drawing these lines across the glass like that to make it look like glass and we can put some in there too and then when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry you can erase all those pencil lines because you didn't press too hard did you <laughs> then all you need to do is color it in and subscribe to draw stuff real easy and come back and draw lots more stores on Main Street Inkwell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the shoe store on Main Street. If you're going to draw all the stores on Main Street Inkwell, they all start as a square. You can make it tiny, you can make it big, uh, but once you've decided what size they're going to be, they all want to be the same size. So why not make a template out of an old piece of cardboard and you can put the midlines in like that. So you just get it done just like that. And I'm going to put a line across there. I'm going to do a little bit of planning and I'm going to do it all in pencil and I'm drawing very, very gently because I know I'm going to erase these later. It gets very difficult if you press too hard. So we'll have our sign will be about there and little triangles about there. Oh no, we a box there, triangle, box, triangle. I think that's all we really need. So I'm going to start by going all around the outside and a big line like that makes it nice and easy to cut out to make the whole street as a diorama. And if this is all a bit too much for you, you can go to my Patreon page and download the whole thing, all the stores as a, a cut out and color or have them ready colored in for you. Now I'm going to start about there. And there, I'm going to put a, a little double thing across there like that. And then about here, then we're going to make this into like a square up at the top. Oh, there goes the fire engine. And then we're going to put a little square in there and a little triangle on the top. So this is, oh, this shot would have been <laughs> oh, a hundred years ago or something like that they probably built it and they're trying to make it look very grand and then here we'll have another um, little oblong a little rectangle like that and then we can put lines all the way down that it just makes it look more interesting and then at the bottom here we're going to put two lines across there so these are like the side walls of the house or the store, the building. Then you have a kind of a hole in the front and then you kind of build the shop front, the storefront inside that hole. And now here I'm going to do a curve like that and a line down there with another curve. So you might want to put two lines down there. Don't worry that I made a mistake. <laughs> It'll all look okay in the end, don't worry. And then we're going to put one, two, three lines in the middle. So these are meant to look like some fancy old Greek columns or something like that. <laughs> Done on the cheap. And then we can put the sign in across there like that. And that will come up about there. And we're going to have um, some windows upstairs because there's an apartment or a flat above the shop and that will then come down there and down there like that and that's going to have a little frame around there so there's those like inside lines like that and then we want to draw Oh, I'll tell you what, let's draw a line down the middle like that so that then we can have two windows on each side. 
and that will be there and that will be there now we might want to have like a burglar alarm or a fire alarm like that and then next we want to kind of plan where the door is going to go so it wants to be nice and evenly in the middle that's the middle so you want the same distance on each side and then i'm going to draw a line down here so this is kind of the door frame so that will come all the way down there like that and then we can draw in the window sill across there like that we'll have a little skylight there this is going to be number 23 and we want this to say s h o e s and then we're going to have a little kind of um, logo at the end but let's do this bit first and then I'm going to come around like that and then I'm going to put these little fancy bits on the end I think just to make it a bit different so these little bits are called serifs s-e-r-i-f-s serif and then we want the o the o always wants to be slightly higher than all the other letters because otherwise it looks doesn't quite look right and then we'll make that go across there then we want that to come down that to go up and that to come down like that and then we'll do another s like that and then we come around like that so it's a bit like a jelly bean and then we're going to put a big toe and then one, two, three, four little toes. And let's do the door. So I'm going to do something a little bit fancy here. So there's the window in the door. Okay. And I'm going to do little curved corners like that. And come down like that. So it's just a little bit fancy. We maybe put dots in there like that. And we're going to have a door sill and I have a letter box and we want to have a door handle don't we like that and a lock and then in the window we're going to have stickers little posters and they're going to say sale because I don't know, there just always seems to be a sale going on in shoe shops. I don't know if they ever sell full price. Now, we're going to go draw one, two, three, four. And that will want to go there. One, two, three, and four. And here we're going to draw ladies shoes. So we're going to start here. So that's going to be the the stiletto heel and go out and down like that and then we'll come down like that mm, that doesn't look terribly brilliant does it so let's try this one <laughs> we'll bring that down and that's a bit more like it it's all funny shapes aren't they so we come down like that up and down put some funny shape in there oh we could have a we could have a great big clumpy um, platform shoes here, couldn't we? We could have something like that. That's a bit of fun. Like that. <laughs> and I think on this side we'll have trainers mostly. So we come up, a little bit of a curve and down. And we want sort of things like that, don't we? So up, a bit of a curve and down up a bit of a curve and that they all look the same don't they so let's have a flash in there on that one and there we go up a bit of a curve and down and yeah that's kind of a bit more flashy like that now when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase all those pencil lines and no one will know how you managed to dry it, dry it so carefully and so straight and square and perfect.
And then we need to do something with all this glass in the windows. So these, just these little kind of flicky, little stripy kind of lines, they just make it look like shiny glass. And we'll do the same down here. And, and you know, you've just done these beautiful drawings and now you can <laughs> scribble them out um, because they're on the inside and the shininess is on the outside of the glass. So you can do the same there and in here. Oh, I think we probably, I think we probably need a little sign in the window as well, telling you what times the shop is open. Um, and then we want to have the same thing going on here, like that. Then all you need to do is colour it in and make sure you are subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy and come back and draw all the other stores on Main Street Inkwell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the pet store on Main Street. All these stores that I'm drawing are built on the shape of a square. So if you're going to make a great big diorama and stick them together to make a Main Street, why not make a template like this and you can put the little markings there for the midways, which just makes it all much easier and you can keep it all the same size then. Now I'm going to put a line across the middle there because I know I'm going to want that. And I'm going to put a line across there for the signboard. And I think that's all I really need to do. When you draw in pencil, don't press too hard because you're going to make it really difficult to erase the pencil lines later. Oh, I've gone slightly over the top there. Doesn't matter if you make little mistakes like that. Just carry on, carry on, carry on. See, I've just gone over the line then. It looks, ooh, looks really bad now. But don't worry about it because at the end, you'll forget all about it. No one will know. It's not a problem. So we're going to draw a line right the way across the middle. The secret to drawing is just to keep drawing and don't worry about it. It all comes together at the end. Now we're going to have a little line inside there. So I'm using kind of the, the point of the pen just to kind of get a little line in there. Um, that would be okay, good. Now we're going to come and have two lines down the side. So these are like the, the side walls of the store. And, and there's just a hole in the front, which they then kind of put the shop front into. And we're going to want to have a line about there. So this is going to be the door. So you want to get it wide enough for people to be able to get in. And that's going to need, that's a door frame. So that's going to need kind of like wood on both sides, like a piece of, a bit of wood. And then this is going to be the window sill. We can draw that on there and um, we can have these fancy bits at the bottom of the side here. One, two, three, like that. One, two, three, just to make it look a bit prettier. And then we're going to have a little fan light above the window, the door with number 23. And then above the store, sometimes you've got people living above the store, haven't you? So we're going to draw that. I've forgotten what they're called, the bits above the window. So if we draw those, it's not the sill. The window sill is at the bottom, isn't it? And so the, oh, I can't remember, the lintel. So we can draw that and down, we can have another window sill down there. The window sill is the bit that the rain drips off. Bring that down and across like that. Um, we can have sash windows, so this is complicated. So we're going to start here and do these little curves up like that, and then go across. Let's do all of those in one go, like that. And then each window will then want to have um, a frame like that. And then down here that will be similar like that. So we can draw these up and across and down, across and down, and then those bits there, like that. <laughs> and so there's a lot of repetitive stuff, isn't there? Now that's the thing when you're doing a building, there's lots of windows, they're all going to be the same, aren't they? You just have to kind of keep repeating. But there's something 
interesting with repeating things on it becomes a pattern and then it just makes things look more interesting and you might have here a hexagon or something like that for a fire alarm or a burglar alarm something like that now we're going to call this Brett's Brett's pets like that and then we'll have a little kind of doggy paw thing there so it's good to just plan it out in gently in pencil just to see if it's all going to fit okay Brett <laughs> double T apostrophe S Brett's pets I've done a funny E there just to make it look more like it's a sign and then we'll put a little paw print one two three four like that now we want something interesting in the window so I think we can have a picture of a dog on this side like that and he can be sitting down whoop, wagging his tail <laughs> And we'll have paws and paws like that. So we've got a dog on that side. And we'll put a little line there so that that's kind of colour there. And then we'll have a cat on this side. Uh, like a little cat face shape. With whiskers. <laughs> and then we're going to want little paws like that. And that's the back leg there. And we'll have a nice curly tail there. And we'll take that line across there like that as well. Now we need some glass in the door so people can see if there's somebody coming in or out. And we'll put a little piece of string there and an open sign. Open for business. And we want a letter box and we want a door handle and we want a little lock and we might have a little panel down below like that as well. Now these are all glass so we're going to put these kind of glass lines in there like that and just some little just flick it flick those lines in there like that and it just makes it look a bit like glass. <laughs> How do you make something that is transparent and look right with black and white pen and ink it's difficult isn't it so here we're going to do the same and we'll put these kind of lines in there so the the pictures are behind stuck onto the glass so you might have those lines go over the the cat or the dog so yeah i'm not going to do any more there but we can do it like that and that will help to make it look like the picture is behind the glass and now all you need to do is erase those pencil lines, not many on this one. And then no one will know how you got it so right. <laughs> They'll think you're a genius. Now all you need to do is colour it in and make sure you're subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy. Come back and draw lots more stores in Main Street Inkwell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the opticians or the glasses store on Main Street. This drawing is based on a square and if you're drawing the whole street you might want to make yourself a nice little cutout like this uh, so that you can get them all exactly the same size and then if you put the middle bits like that it helps you to find the middle of the drawings. And you want to do that because the door is roughly on about the height of the halfway mark. So I'm going to start off drawing the top line across like that. I'm going to come down a little bit and draw another one that goes across like that. And then I'm going to come all the way down. And all the way down again. So this is like the, the side walls of the store. And it's like it, when they build it, they don't put the front in. So they just put the side like that. And it's like they just build a hole in the side of the street and then you kind of fit the shop front in there, the storefront, to make it look different because every storefront wants to look different so that you know this is the grocers, and this is the bakers, and this is the candlestick makers. 
and let's put little lines across there and then we're going to put one two three and then make those okay one is that the same height let's do that one two three and then a short one and then a tiny one and then here we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is a bit of pattern to make it look a bit interesting. Now here we're going to go just slightly above the middle line, straight across. And another one going straight across like that. And then we're going to want to come in about there and come straight down. And same on this side too, straight down like that. So what you have here is, this is the entrance to the store, but this is going to be uh, the entrance to the apartment upstairs, because very often stores have people living up above them. I always thought that would be really exciting to live upstairs <laughs> from the store. I know my, my daughter did that for a little while, and I thought that was really exciting. And you could look outside and just watch the world go by, everybody coming out shopping and getting on buses and coaches and things like that. <laughs> and she didn't like it, so she moved. So this is going to be the people next door. They're going to have a lock there and maybe another lock. They're very safety conscious and they're going to want to have uh, a letterbox. And I think they're going to have a sill on the bottom of the door like that. Now for the store, this is the door that's going to let us in here. We're going to have a sort of a big sheet of glass like that. It's going to come down to about the same. Let's have two little bits across there, coming to about the same level there. And we're going to have a letter box there as well. And here we're going to want to have a handle so that you can get in open the door and there's going to be a lock on the door as well isn't there like that and i think we're going to have a little sign in the door which is going to tell you monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday all the days that it's open and the hours that it's open and we'll probably have a little advertisement here for some kind of glasses <laughs> like that and then this is going to be the window so we're going to draw the window frame it's going to come across there like that. And then up here, we're going to have the name of the store. And we're just going to call it Glasses. You can call it anything you like. You can call it your name. You can call it um, Goggles or <laughs> whatever you like to call it. Um, and then we're going to have a a kind of a glasses logo thing up here. So I'm drawing this very gently in pencil. Don't press too hard or else you'll never be able to erase it later. And then I think it's really good to kind of plan out to see if it's going to fit. See, it needs to come this way a little bit, doesn't it? So if I do that and I bring the E back there and more of an S, more of an S, slightly wider A, let's see what happens. I'm going to draw very simple letters around and up, down and across. That's the A, and then S's are always a bit difficult. S's always go slightly above and below the line because otherwise they look too small, but that now looks too big, doesn't it? <laughs> so you can't win. And we put the E in there, maybe make the E a little bit longer because it's going to look like we haven't quite got to the end. There we are glasses so that works quite well and I think we're going to go and draw a circle and another circle you could always find something to draw around to get those circle lines absolutely right you can use a ruler for everything of course if you want and if you're finding it a bit hard to keep up you can stop and start any time you like, as many times as you like. You're not going to break the internet. So um, just, you know, stop and start and just catch up with the drawing if you get a bit stuck behind. So here we're going to draw across and round and down and up.
across like that. And we need to make this look like it's a, a, a store. So we'll, let's put lots of things like this in there with these bits. It's like they're all, this is what you see in, a, in, in, a, in an optician's. Do you call it an optician's? They call it different things around the world, I think. Um, some people call it a, an optical store. Uh, <laughs> some people might call it the optometrist, but I think that's really like the, the doctor, isn't it? Who is the, oh, let's do some fancy ones. What about some aviator glasses? <laughs> and um, we we'll do some with great big butterfly kind of or cat's, cat's ears on the end, something like that. And then there's usually sort of pictures as well, aren't there? Sort of handsome, beautiful people <laughs> wearing glasses. So we can have... Um, let's have a man wearing glasses. He'll have a big cheesy smile like that. And then... I think ladies who, they, they generally have fringes, don't they, in these kind of adverts? Like that, I don't know why. Fringes, bangs, and many different names for things around the world. Then, when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, you can erase all those pencil lines. And no one will know how you planned it out so well. I've got it to look so accurate. Then shall we try and make these glasses look a bit like they've got glass in them, like that? Good. Spectacles, glasses. <laughs> and then this door needs to have that in there to make that look like that's glass. Exact same here. I say glass. Some people say glass. <laughs> glass. There's lots of different ways of pronouncing it. I say glass, okay. So there we go. Then all you need to do is to colour it in and subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy so you can draw all the rest of the stores in Main Street Inkwell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the music store on Main Street. We're going to draw all the stores in this series. Then why not make a template like this? All the stores are built on a square shape so you can have it any size you like. But once you've decided you want to keep them all the same size, so make a template out of a piece of card. You can draw the middles like that, nice and easy. And ba-doom, you're ready to get to work. Now I'm going to start by going all the way around the outside, which makes it nice and easy when you want to cut it out and you've got a nice big area to cut along. And if this is all a bit too much for you, then you can go to my Patreon page and download all of these and make them yourself and cut them out and colour them in, or you can get them ready coloured too. There's the middle line. I'm just going to go slightly above the middle line and go straight across like that. And then I'm going to do another one about there. And then I'm going to draw inside it like that and down so this is going to be the sign above the store and then we are also going to divide this up now what we need to do is to divide this all up into kind of even equal bits so this is going to be like piano keys you know how people like to do funny things with their shops and stores like that so to do piano keys let's draw another line across there so they're all about the same so we're going to go two black keys, leave one, and then we do three black keys, leave one, two black keys, leave one, then three black keys, like that. And that will do it nicely, I think. We could maybe do half a key in there. So I'm going to start by drawing in all the black keys. Like this, Ooh, we can colour them in later. I think any musician walking along the street will see this and go, ooh, it's a music shop. <laughs> and they'll want to go in and have a look, see what they've got. And here we want to write music. Now it needs to be a bit longer than that, so I'm just going to erase that. When you plan this out for your lettering, do it in pencil. And it helps you to get the spacing nice and even. And you can spread it out across the whole thing like that. But 
don't press too hard because then you won't be able to erase it afterwards. And I'm going to do something which musicians will probably hate. I think, oh no, well, I will do it the right way. So we'll do a, like a crotchet or a whatever it is. <laughs> Am I a musician? Mm, probably not. Is that a quaver? I'm not sure. And do you know, I'm going to make these slightly jumbled because I think musicians are kind of wacky like that, aren't they? So let's see what happens. Let's do that. And then we got that little bit there. And I'm going to do like this. And I'm just going to make them a little bit wacky. <laughs> Music. And then we want the S to be slightly sort of leaning over a bit and the I can lean over and then the C can be slightly leaning over too like that and then we'll have this other crotchet or quaver almost like an exclamation mark yeah that makes it look a bit more fun doesn't it music's about fun isn't it now we want to draw a line down here we need a bit of planning so I'm doing this very gently in pencil again and we're going to want to have the door will be about like that. And that will allow us to know where the windowsill will go. So let's draw these bits down here first. And then, oh, and then we're going to draw a line across there too. Okay. So so I think we need to draw this one first and then we can draw that coming down so these are the, the bits that hold up the door like that the door is going to be about like that with a line across and this is this door is going to be number 76 this road <laughs> in the road I think then what we need to do is work out what we've got going on here. Find those in the middle like that. Another one down the side. So oh, we need to know, let's draw this in first down here. So these are the window sills. And then we can draw one down there and two in the middle, one down there two in the middle and then this is the tricky bit so we want to draw along there and along there and there to there to there and then we're going to draw semicircles almost up to the top almost up to the top almost up to the top <laughs> almost up to the top and then we're going to draw a little, oh, I don't know what you call these. They're like curling V's, aren't they, like that? So this is just making the whole thing look a bit purdier. And I think we might have a sail going on, do you think? And we'll have some kind of a poster there for something or other. Like that. And other little things, lots of little things written on little bits of paper in the window. And then I think we're going to draw some guitars. It's going to be a kind of a guitar shot, this one, I think. So let's draw a thing like that. And then another one like that. And a square one like that. And then a oh, round and down one like that. This will come down there. That will come down. Can you see how it's working? <laughs> right, like that. And then here we're going to want to have a, a hole. So this will be an acoustic guitar. That'll be another one and another one. And then we'll come around and around like that. And then we need a bridge, some strings. And one, two, three, 
one, two, three, oh, one, two, three. This one's going to come around like that too. That's going to need a bridge for the strings to attach to. If you're a guitarist, you'll be going, oh, that's a terrible picture. <laughs> And we put some little tuning pegs in there. One, two, three, one, two, three. And this time we're going to come around like that. Now, this time we're going to come up and around like that. Just make it look a bit more interesting like that. And here we're going to do around and down like that. And then that will go around a little bit and down like that. There's the bridge, and then we need to have electrical pickups. We need oh, all sorts of stuff going on. It's an electric guitar. Now, at this point, I'm going to erase the pencil lines, and I, I know that the ink is dry, so you really must make sure that the ink is dry, because otherwise it's going to smudge, isn't it? And you don't want that to happen. So make sure that the ink is dry. And then when you brush off all that, those erasing bits people will go how did you manage to do that so accurately and make it so square and everything and you'll go hmm, hmm. <laughs> that's my secret talent so what we need to do now is we need a window in the door and I think we'll have a handle about there and a lock about there and we'll have a, a letterbox and probably a door sill there as well. And then all this glass needs to be made to look glassy. So we're going to do these little things. And if you've done any more of the uh, stores in this series, you'll know we do all this for the glass and it's quite a lot, but it's a great effect. And so those signs are underneath the glass. So it doesn't matter that the, these stri strips go over the top. And we can also put, you know, you just, drawn these beautiful guitars and I think we probably need to have a little sign saying open or maybe it's telling you when it's open like that and um, we'll have some these strips across there but because they are behind the glass we put those lines over these beautiful <laughs> drawings that we've done <laughs> kind of ruining the drawings and I think I'm going to extend those lines there and all the way down here, I'm just going to put these sort of bricks. It just makes it a bit more interesting. And it doesn't take a lot, does it? It's just a lot of little lines, but it just adds, it's like pattern. And it just, all pattern just kind of makes things look a bit more interesting. Then all you need to do is colour it in and subscribe to draw stuff real easy and come back and draw all the other stores on Main Street Inkwell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the jewellery store on Main Street. This drawing is based on a square and if you're doing the whole street, it's really good to make a square up like this so that you can just go all around the edge and then you'll know that all your stores will be exactly the same size and you can look, you can have the middle all ready to uh, draw in like that. And I'm going to draw a line across the middle, I'm going to draw a line down the middle like that because that's probably where the door's going to be. This is an old Art Nouveau store and we're going to put in some curves. So we want to come up, up to about there and draw like a curve coming across like that. And then we want another curve up above it like that. And then we're going to want another line across there about like that. And we'll draw a line across there and we want to work out how wide the door is going to be, about like that, I should think. And then we'll draw a line all the way down the middle on each side like that. And that should mean we're ready to start inking in. So your square can be any size you like. It doesn't matter. You can have a huge big one or you can have a small dinky one. You can download a printout PDF of all the stores on Main Street from my Patreon page. And then we're going to draw down the middle here. So you have to kind of think how these shop fronts are constructed. So kind of a shop front is like when they build it, there's just a great big hole in the side of the street. 
and then you come along and say oh I want this to be this kind of a store and I want it to look fancy and I'm going to put this in the front so you kind of design it and build it so that everything just kind of fits in and we're going to draw lines across and lines across and another line across like that so these are kind of structural supports that go across like that and then I should have done another one down here but let me do that here now <laughs> sometimes you forget but it doesn't really matter because it you know I mean if it's it still looks good and sometimes you make a mistake and you can actually make it look better and then I'm going to draw that across there and this is going to be a little sill across the bottom like that and then we're going to have a curve across there which is the curve of the top of the door and now I'm going to draw a curve and another curve that way and I'm going to draw a little kind of wiggle in and out <laughs> in and out like that and we'll put a little bit of fancy kind of stuff on the glass so that's glass there let's make a little curl in there as well why not and then this is the door so we have a curve there oh this is a bit tricky so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start about there and draw a curve to about there and I'm going to do the same here down to about there now what this is going to be really tricky so <laughs> so so if you get lost don't forget you can stop and start at any time you like this is going to go off at a bit of an angle just like that one there is going to do there we want this to come around like that and up and then that's going to come to about there. So we want this kind of curve following there. It's going to come down a little hook, up a bit, and then it's sort of aiming for up there. So we've got that kind of curve going across the top there. And then we want that to come around like that. And then that can come straight down. This is Art Nouveau, this style. This was kind of at the beginning of the 20th century and it's it's kind of very it's, it's kind of like it's designed on flowers and plants and things like that so it can be a bit tricky to draw here look let's put a little triangle in there just to fill in that shape and if you feel you've got a bit of space there you can do that one too and then can you see that curve there what we're going to do is come around there and nice round corners and then we'll come up around there round corner and around at the top same thing here round corners and it's slightly curved there around corner and around corner <laughs> like i say don't forget you can stop and start as many times as you like this is this is probably the most complicated drawing in this whole set for the town of inkwell now next we're going to do these windows in here and squidge that one in if you can i think you know sometimes you think oh i haven't got it right i've got too many i've got I haven't got enough space but just squeeze it in somehow and then see i've got four there already i think i'm going to do five on this side but you're not really going to notice. It doesn't matter. It's only, only you notice. No one else is. Look, we've got a centre line here, so we can use that to help us here. Start there. And then down there. And then another one like that. It's exhausting, this one, isn't it? <laughs> so let's bring that down to about there. So you want this curve to go across there like that. Let's put a little, um, that should probably be a nice curved shape on the handle really. And then here we're going to put some little panels in there like that as well. And that's the thing, Art Nouveau, it just all builds up with these shapes and patterns and makes it look gorgeous. 
Now, when you are sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase all those pencil lines so no one will ever know how you got it so accurate and they'll think you're really, really clever. And then we can put, look, a little, put a little sign hanging on there saying, open. And I'm gonna make this number 24 in the street. And can you see the two is bigger than the four because we got that kind of line and here the four is slightly longer than the two. And we will say jeweler. I'm gonna squeeze that in. There we go, got that in. And again, we can do something like that. Just to make it a bit more fancy. And then inside we want to very gently kind of draw these shelves that go across in the window like you get with those boards you get with sort of all covered in earrings and <laughs> watches and jewellery stuff. So and then we can put little things like that in there. Just, it doesn't have to be very beautiful. You don't have to do perfect things because it's on the other side of the glass. You can't really see what it is. So it's just, it's just an impression of what's on the other side. And then we'll help to make this look like glass by kind of drawing these lines. So these are sort of lines which make it look a bit like it's glass. And then these are glass too. And, and that kind of helps to give it that sort of feeling of glass all the way across. And then this is glass as well, remember? So we can put some lines in there. This is glass. <laughs> and we can do it like that. And there's a little bit of glass in there. How did you do? That's a tricky one. Now, all you need to do now is colour it in and subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy so you can draw all the other stores in Main Street Inkwell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the hair salon in Main Street. If you're going to draw the whole street, then you want to make sure all the shops are the same size so they go together. And why not make a template uh, out of an old bit of card so you get it square each time just by doing that and then you can find the middles as well very easily and you're all set up and ready to go. So for this one, I'm gonna start just by going all around the outside, which makes it nice and easy for if you want to cut it out afterwards. And if you find all of this a bit too much, of course, you can go to my Patreon page and get a download of all these stores as a cut out and color or already colored in. And then I'm just going to help myself by putting a little line, pencil line, don't press too hard because you want to erase it later. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw a line down there from the center line and a line down there. And then at the bottom, I'm going to have two little bits across there and one across there. And then a little bit of sort of pattern, one, two, three, five, <laughs> one, two, three. It doesn't matter if they don't match up quite, don't worry. It's a worry when you're doing it, but when the whole thing's finished, it doesn't matter at all. And then we're going to have a line across there and a line across there, which is the top of the signboard up above the shop. And we could just make this a little bit fancy by putting these little sort of patterns in up there like it's like it's a kind of a, a plaster molding or something like that it just makes it sort of more pretty and adds a bit more interest to the whole drawing and then comes the slightly tricky bit so we're going to have a kind of a floral kind of display so come across here and we want to have so it's going to be kind of flowers there and then we want to have kind of big kind of load of flowers in there and then we're going to want to have a sort of slightly smaller ones just sort of coming 
along like that. So they're like little clouds, aren't they? With um, and they're going to be sort of mostly pink and stuff, <laughs> pink roses. And then we're also going to have um, them dripping down the side like this. But these now want to get smaller and smaller like that. Uh, that one looks like a fried egg, doesn't it? But it doesn't matter, don't worry. <laughs> and these will then start getting smaller and smaller. I'm going to have a small one there. And then we're going to want to have kind of leaves in between. Like that. And you can, you can be quite scribbly with these leaves. It doesn't really matter. Um because it's not, um, you know, it's not a fine <laughs> close-up portrait drawing of a store, is it, like that. And we'll do more on this side. So this is a hairdresser that kind of figures themselves quite fancy with all these roses outside. And then we want to have their name. So we're just going to call them Hair. I think that needs to be a bit wider. We can have big, wide letters. H I R across like that. So I think I'm going to start in a little bit more there and across. So they're going to have this kind of very modern kind of writing outside their shop. Salon, I should say. With quite a bit of spacing between the letters. Big wide letters like that, and maybe even a, a little dot there and a dot there. Good, that's the top of the store. So let's draw the rest. So we draw a line across there, stop, carry on on the other side, and then, like this top of the signboard, we want a similar thing going across there, like that. And then we're going to want the width of the door. And you might want to plan this before you do anything. So that feels about right. And we'll draw two lines coming down. So these are going to be the uprights that make the door frame up like that. And then these are going to be the window sills. That's where the rain drips off. It runs down the glass and sort of drips off the window sill. And then we'll have a bit of a skylight above the door like that. And I'm going to call this number <laughs> 38. I keep making up numbers. I'm sure I've done the same number on some of these stores. I'm going to make this quite simple, I think. So I'm just going to put two lines across there like that two lines across there like that two lines and two lines two lines and two lines and here we're going to put hair and here we're going to put nails so it's a beauty shop really isn't it and then the door is going to have pane of glass there and a pane of glass there and they're going to want a letterbox they're going to want a door handle aren't they so that will let them in might have a little key up there and they're going to want to have a panel down here like that and a panel down there like that and then they want a sill on the door as well when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase those pencil lines as long as you didn't press too hard when you were drawing them. If you press too hard, it's really difficult to erase pencil. And there we go. Then all you need to do is colour it in and subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy so you can draw lots more stores on Main Street Inkwell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the food store on Main Street. To draw Main Street, you're going to need a square like this. So you get all the stores the same size. And what I do is I draw around the outside like that. 
There we are. And these are really good little marks just to find the middle. I'll do that really quickly. But the grocery store is the biggest, so it's actually twice the size, twice as wide as all the others like that. So I'm going to do that. And there's little marks just to help. And basically the door is the height up to the middle. So we're going to put a canopy right over the store like that. And then we're going to choose a kind of a width. So let's go halfway because we've got that nice <laughs> convenient line there. There we go. Actually, let's go a little bit wider than that. OK, so they can see those lines there. We're going to go wider and we're going to go up too. We're going to make this store a bit a bit taller. This is going to have a big front like that. OK, so that's up there. We're going to have lines like that. And I think that's sort of all that we need for the moment. I'm going to start right up at the top here and I'm going to draw a line right the way across like that. Or a double line, isn't it? Really, it's like a long, thin sausage or a worm or something like that. And then I'm going to do the same right across there like that. And do a double one again. So when you think of a store, it's all kind of built up with bits of wood and stuff like that, isn't it, really? And so these are all kind of bits of painted wood and stuff like that that are all kind of stuck on the front of a store to make it look fancy, make you want to come in and buy stuff. And then we can draw across there and across there. And we can come down all the way along the side and all the way down along the side and then we can draw the whole line across the bottom so we get this whole thing outlined now and then we can draw a little triangle coming up to there a little triangle coming down to there now let's start up at the top and work our way down so we're going to draw a little bit like that and then just lots of little stripes coming down and this is just to fill it in and it adds interest all all the extra little bits that you add add interest to a drawing so let's draw two lines across so we don't need to but it just makes it look that bit more interesting and then we're going to draw some kind of brick pattern across here so you do kind of a long one and a short one long one and maybe two short ones either side and then long ones like that so when you do bricks you don't need to draw every single one you just need to give this impression of bricks because when you have to sit there and draw every brick it drives you mad doesn't it and you don't want that happening <laughs> so, uh, I know you can get really frustrated trying to draw every single brick in a drawing. So look, here we could maybe do three like that. And then, then here we're going to do two like that. And that gives you that feeling that those are bricks. And this is going to be a giant sign here. So I'm going to pencil this in. So we sort of go up about to there. Let's, let's a little, draw a little line across there. Something like that just to give us a rough idea. And um, we're going to do bubble letters. So let's have these letters really quite wide apart. And they want to be about the same size. Don't press too hard. Oh, I think these get a bit further. And that would be like a, a D like that. And then we're going to draw a logo thing there. Right, I'm going to, can you see the line of the F there? I'm going to come to the side here and I'm going to come all the way down. And then around that little bit there, and I can go up and around the top and join there. And here with the O, I'm going to start on the outside of the O and go all the way around. And then on the inside of the O, I'm going to go all the way around. So that pencil line I drew is just a, a thing to help you. And I think this is going to be a, a bit tricky, this one, I think. Oh, I think I got them all a bit too close together. Let's see how we go. And that's going to have to come around like that. Up around there and down around there. And then we'll do that bit 
in the middle. And then if we do this kind of snake shape like that, we draw the snake up the middle. And then we're going to come around like that. So this is going to be a kind of a leaf shape, which is kind of a good shape for a, a, a grocer's, I think. We do a little tag like that, and then we go one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. And then let's put a line right the way across there. That is the original middle line. And we are going to draw a canopy, a stripy awning. And this bit is probably a little bit boring, so I'm just going to speed through this, but you take your time. You can download a printout PDF of all the stores on Main Street from my Patreon page. And now we're going to draw little loops joining them all up. So it's, you know, those kind of canopies that you get outside grocery stores. Don't forget you can stop and start this video as many times as you like and wait to catch up. And while you're doing that, you can click the subscribe button too. Now we've got to put a pillar down there. So the whole thing, this is the wall that's holding the whole thing up. It's like, like a pillar. And then we're going to want to have two either side here again as well. So I'm going to put one pillar down there and we'll get the same kind of distance on the other side. Not quite, but it doesn't matter. Don't worry. I didn't quite get it right. <laughs> it will all look good at the end. That's the thing about drawing. Sometimes you make a little mistake and you go, oops. It looks terrible while you're doing it, but by the time you get to the end, it looks great. So don't worry about it. Now we are going to do the door. So the door is going to be about like that in the front. And then we're going to want a door frame like that. And then we're going to want window sills. So these are the bits that stick out at the bottom of the window. Do two on that side, leave the door, carry on there. And these are to help when you get rain comes down on the window, it helps the, the rain come down and drip off the edge. And in the window, we're going to have some kind of stuff I don't know what it is. You get stickers and things, don't you, like that? Which they stick on windows, so that could be what's going on. Telling you about the bargains <laughs> that are inside. Or maybe it's telling you it's winter time, holidays, or Easter. It could be or anything, couldn't it? And let's just draw the door here. So we're going to draw a window in the door. Like that. That's going to have a sign in it, which is going to tell you all the days of the week and the times it's open. And then that's going to want another one down below like that. And then I think there are going to be posters in the window, aren't there? There's always posters in the windows of um, <laughs> grocery stores and supermarkets and things like that, aren't there? So let's do these at slight angle. They're just parallelograms, oblongs, rectangles, whatever you want to call them, like that. And we'll have another one there. Let's put 25 exclamation mark, 30, <laughs> 10, 20, 99, 40. So that's either the price or it's the amount off or something like that. And let's have an object, a little picture of what's for sale, like tins or something like that. Something like that. Well, potatoes, how about that? There we are. Um, and then we can have a bit of writing. You don't have to do the writing, just do little bits like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> It'll be all right. Look, this is how you save a mistake. I'm going to put a frame around that door window. I didn't mean to do that, but I saved myself. Now, all we need to do is to, let's put some more brickwork in along the bottom there. And we can just do things like that. And another one like that.
And I think just to make it look a bit more interesting, we're going to put some little, little marks up here, which can be all sorts of things, couldn't they? So, but it just makes it look that little bit more interesting. And then if you want to make it look a bit glass-like, we can put these lines in there like that, have some coming down from up there. We can have some going over the posters as well, because that's because they're behind, aren't they, like that? That's a very quick, easy way to make something look like a sheet of glass. It's just these kind of diagonal lines. And then when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, you can erase all those pencil lines and no one will ever know how you <laughs> planned it out so carefully. Then all you need to do is to colour it in, subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy and come back to draw all the other stores in the town of Inkwell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the flower shop on Main Street. To draw all the stores in Main Street Inkwell, uh, they're all based on a square shape, which you can have any size you like. But once you've decided on your size, why not make a template? And then you can just draw around the outside. And then you know exactly where you are. Look, I've already got the middle lines marked out as well. And I can just do something like that. And I want to plan a line down there and a line... If that's the middle, I want to just go a little bit to the side of the middle like that, out there. And I'm going to draw a curve, Oop. and then we want another line above it, and, a, and that will come there, and a curve above it. So this is just working out the plan for it. And first of all, I'm going to go all around the outside. You can download a printout PDF of all the stores on Main Street from my Patreon page. This will make it easier for you if you're going to cut them all out and stick them together in a diorama. Now I'm going to have sort of roses growing all the way above here because this is a flower shop, isn't it? A florist, a flower store, whatever you want to call it. So we'll have a big tub growing down there. And then we want to have this curling 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 like that and then we can have little bits coming off like that and one coming around there and one coming around there one down there maybe one up there maybe one up there as well and then we can start doing the shop sign. Now it's got a bowed front window so this is going to be quite tricky to draw. Um, we're going to draw these lines here. So these are the first kind of lines that we want across the top of the shop and we're going to want that to be double. So very closely draw another line around like that or across like that and we can this is Harbit is doing the lettering in a curve. So if you plan this out a little bit, flowers, and we'll always keep it vertical, those vertical lines, but then the other bits, the sideways lines, they go along with the curve. Okay. W. So they go along with the curve. The vertical always stays vertical. Like that. Flowers. And I'm going to make this shop number 28 in the street. But you can make it any number you like. You can call your shop any name you like. You can call it Annie's Flowers or Floridora or something. Whatever you like. Doesn't matter. Now we're going to need other um, pots and things down here because very often you'll find a flower shop has got sort of flowers outside so as you walk past you go oh they look nice I'll go in and buy some and we'll go and sort of put it <laughs> we don't need to do fantastic flower paintings here we just need squiggly lines like that 
and yeah, maybe there's a light tulips or something like that there. And oh, and there can be oh, sunflowers or something like that. And then we can draw a line down here and a line down here. And we can start thinking about this window, which is going to be quite complicated. So this is going to be the bottom of the window. And that's going to be roughly a bit curved and that's going to be quite curved and that's going to be hardly curved at all more, more or less straight let's put a line down the middle and then we'll try and put two down each side Oop. like that and separate them make them nice and even and then we're going to draw panels little panes of glass so this is a sort of a cute old-fashioned -y, ye olde kind of shop store kind of thing and just take your time <laughs> I think that's that's the secret just don't rush it I'm, I'm a terrible rusher I like to just get on with doing the drawing and um, but with this kind of thing you just need to take your time when you come down to the flowers don't worry just sort of stop okay we come down to there stop and then we can do those bits in between because that's going on behind the flowers isn't it there like that and then we can draw whatever bits that you might see of those bottom panes down there like that and then to make it look like glass, we're going to do these little things that are one, two, three, maybe four, just tiny little lines and just flick them in there. And that just sort of gives this impression of the glass being shiny and sort of shiny so that you can't see through it. And a bit down there. <laughs> that should do it. And then I think we might have another one over here like that. And these will be lovely kind of roses or something. And we're going to want to have the side of the store coming down like that. Let's have a little kind of square thing like that. So this is kind of like a bit of pattern on the side. And then we're going to need a sort of a bit on that side which is that part of the wall, and then we're going to fit in the door. So let's put that line across there, and we're going to draw one, <laughs> two, three, four, and again, there's bits of glass across the top. So we want the door frame, kind of like that. And then here, we're going to put this little piece across there, and a letterbox underneath it, and then we want a door sill across the bottom like that. And we can have a little line under there. And then we want to get these um, panes of glass in the door. So this is quite complicated, isn't it? I think sometimes some of these stores that I've done, I think, oh, that was easy. And then some of them I think, oh, that was a lot of hard work. So we can have three little panes in each window like that in the door and again we're going to put these little bits of I don't know shininess or shininess or shadow or something like that it just makes them look like glass doesn't it it's quite a really good effect and now we're just going to want to have lots of sort of roses <laughs> And things. So this is going to be a rose climbing up outside the shop. So if we just sort of put roses on the end of each one of those, and I think we can sort of fit more roses in around just to make it look good. And then, you know, it can be pink or, you know, so when you come to paint it, draw it, colour it in, <laughs> whatever, then that would be sort of nice pink blobs and you can have a, a nice sort of darker colour behind it and that would kind of work well. And then we're just going to want lots of, lots and lots of leaves like that. 
So they will be green, won't they, like that? And I think you can just put lots of leaves in all over the place. Uh, it's just quite a difficult thing to draw because we're really trying to draw a building, aren't we? And suddenly we're drawing flowers and things. But I think a flower shop should have sort of roses growing over the door. And because it's an old building, let's sort of put some strange things on there, like little circles over there. Those are the bits of the buildings falling apart, so they have to tie it together. I think there we can have another flower there, I think maybe, and maybe a few more leaves. Something like that. Oh, there goes the fire engine in the distance. It's been a busy day for police cars and fire engines today. And I'm just going to do these little things down here just to put a little bit of shade onto these pots. And that, that just makes it a bit more... Oh, I haven't put an edge to that, have I? It makes it look a bit more interesting. Now, when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase the pencil lines that you put in there. As long as you didn't press too hard. You don't want to press too hard when you know you're going to erase pencil lines later. So just do it very gently. Then all you need to do is to colour it in and subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy so you can draw all the other stores on Main Street Inkwell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a fashion store on Main Street. Drawing this store is like drawing a square with a half a square added on. And you can make that easy for you by cutting out a square, especially if you're drawing all the stores in Main Street Inkwell. Now I've also, I've got these middle lines marked out there. That makes it easy for me. But this store is going to be a little bit wider. So look, I can get that added on there in the middle. So this store is like one and a half times wider than the normal store. Which means we now have to find the middle, which is going to be down there. Let's find the middle across there as well. That's like that. So this is where the door is going to be. That's going to be the height of the door. And in these two halves, we want to have a semicircle. But let's start by drawing a width there and a width there. And a width there and that means then that the the semicircle will go around like that and that will go around like that now, and look i'm not pressing hard here because if you press you want to make sure they come to the same height as well if you press too hard you are never going to be able to erase the lines easily so that's kind of the main plan that we need to do and i am going to draw all around the outside to start off with you can download a printout PDF of all the stores on Main Street from my Patreon page. And I think there is something very continental and European about this store design. That's the thing about a street, you come down or a mile and you have a look and they all have different fronts and some want you to think oh this is Spanish or something like that so they kind of make it look a bit Spanish and some want to look like it's oldie Englandy or something like that and some wants to look like um, Wild West or something like that so so you kind of have a, a hole in the front of the high street and then you kind of stick your storefront design right into the middle of it and there we go, that's how we're starting. This is going to be a great big window here. And we want to have a window sill. You don't really want the glass coming all the way down in case people kick it and break it. <laughs> so you put some concrete there so they can break their toes instead. And then this is where the door is going to be. So we're going to put a line across there and a line across there too. We want to find the center line, so that's going to be about there. That's coming straight down there. And we draw another line there. We draw another line there. And then we can follow that across 
and across like that. This is a really quite a simple design. So this is going to have, oh, let's have something like that. These are these big handles that you can push, but it's all glass. These doors are going to be all made of glass. So let's put another frame down there like that. And we're going to want to have the writing up at the top. Like that. So let's do f uh, e on and then we can make that kind of seem to fit. So let's do it by doing a logo. So let's make it let's go something like that. Now I'm going to do a line down and a line down there like that. One across like that. So I'm going to do, we're going to try and make this a bit fancy like that. Okay, so we've got two lines down that side and then the A across. We want our S to come all the way around like that. And put a line there and a line there. The H will have two lines and two lines. So they're little boxes, aren't they? Like that with a line across. And the I will be very simple. That's just straight across like that. And then the O wants to be just slightly above and below the line or else it starts to look too small. Two lines like that. And then this is where it gets a bit complicated. So <laughs> we're going to draw that to there and that to there and then up like that. And you know, every time I spell the word fashion, it never looks right. It's one of those words that just never quite seem to look right. Here we are. I mean, let's put these little circles in there and that's kind of the brand logo. But we're going to make this shop street number 30. Like that. And then we're going to want to have some models in the window, aren't we? So can you see we've got we can we've got that split into three pretty much already, haven't we? So let's draw the heads of the models in the window. And if we do that, those are going to be the necks and the shoulders. And then we're going to have dresses like this. And this one's going to be curving all the way down. And then this one's going to be quite short like that. And then this one, I think, will just be kind of a different shape. So then we'll have that on a pole like that, won't we? And I think we can make this one have some sleeves. And then we're going to want a neckline. I have a scoop there and maybe something like that. In fact, let's go and take that a stripey all the way across. Um, and let's put some sleeves into that one as well and make those stripey too. Just makes it all a bit different, doesn't it? And then when you're sure that the ink is dry, because you don't want to smudge it, do you? Then you can erase those pencil lines and then no one will know how you planned it. Oh, look, it wasn't dry. No one will know how you planned it so beautifully. It's a shame about that, isn't it? But we could maybe kind of do something like that and put some pavement on the outside, whatever you want to do but I'm not going to. <laughs> and then we want to make this look like glass. So I'm just going to put these lines across like that. It just gives it that kind of glassy look. And if you put them across the front of the dresses like that, it looks makes them look like they're behind the glass. And we can do that and carry on the lines on the other side there then all you need to do is to colour it in and subscribe to draw stuff real easy so you can then go and draw the rest of Main Street Inkwell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a DIY store on Main Street. All the stores on Main Street Inkwell are based on a square shape. So you can make them any size you like as long as you start off square. But if you want to make a great big diorama and stick them all together, why not make a template like this? and then you can uh, make sure that they're all exactly the same each time. 
Now this one's going to go slightly outside the square and we're going to have a little kind of semicircle y shape on the top like that. And then we need another one inside it like that. Now draw this very, very gently because uh, you want to be able to erase this later. If you press too hard with a pencil, you just can't erase it later. And then here's the mid line across there. And let's just put another line across. And this is a big DIY store, so we want to get the letters in there. DIY. Do it yourself. Now we can just start working our way around the outside. And I'm turning the paper so I get a nice sort of curve. Makes it easier to draw the curves if you turn the paper a bit like that. And then we're going to want another one underneath there. And that's going to come in around like that. Down. And then across like that. And then we can just draw all around the outside of the store. If you go to my Patreon page, you can download a PDF with black and white and colour versions of all the stores in my Main Street drawing videos. And then draw this line across the middle. Another line down below it. Uh, we can maybe put something in there. They could be little lights or something just to attract your attention. <laughs> and then we're going to draw a line down the middle like that. These are going to be the doors. And we'll have a door like that and a door like that. And then we'll have a window sill across there. And we'll want a window frame. So we'll draw that like that to there. That's going to come down. That's coming down to there. And then I'm going to put a line straight across there. So those will be big bars that you hold to kind of push the doors open. And we'll have the glass in the door coming all the way around. And, it, and when you get to that, the bar across the middle, stop and carry on on the other side. So it looks like the glass is behind there, doesn't it? Like that. I think here we might have a kind of a uh, an advertisement for something or other, like sort of Mount Everest drills or screws or something like that. We can't quite tell. But anyway, there's something like that. And there's some text like that. So you don't have to draw it. You can write it. You can write your own advertisement there if you want. But let's just do that nice and easily. DIY stores often have great big posters in the windows, don't they, like that. So we can put them there. Put a line across and put sail, something like that. And we can draw a, a drill like that. So um, we we'll put 10, 20, it doesn't mean anything, does it? It could be 10 pounds, 10 cents, 20% <laughs> off. It's just numbers. It's just when you're looking from a distance, you don't really sort of read what they're actually saying. You can put some extra bit of writing there if you want. And what else can we have? We could have, oh, we could have a circular saw. How about that? And mm, 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 like that. And then some kind of a, Thing like that with a handle as well because <laughs> it's a DIY store and that's the kind of thing you expect to find now this is going to be glass so we're going to draw these lines like that these are kind of glass effect lines and this is glass too so we can actually draw lines across there so it looks like the the posters are on the inside of the window and then here we're going to do a kind of a bubble writing, but kind of with square edges. So we're going to go around those letters and, and around the inside of those letters that we drew. And then we can go around the eye and 
around the Y. That's not so easy, is it? There we go. That comes across and then down the middle. And we really ought to have little full stops down there because it's been shortened, hasn't it? And then we need to draw things like hammers. Okay. <laughs> and spanners and the screwdriver. Draw these things in really, really gently. And I think we could have kind of nuts and bolts at the top, couldn't we? And um, some screws and all sorts, anything you could think of that's going to fit on a DIY store like that. So here we want hexagons, don't we, like that. And the bit in the middle for to turn them into bolts. Nuts. The bolt goes into the nut, doesn't it? That's right. And here we can have uh, screws coming down into a point like that. And this is going to be a spanner. So we'll come around like that and then a little square in. So it's like almost a circle and then a little square. And we can put something in the middle of that. And then here we can have a screwdriver. And that's going to come all the way across to there. And down and across. And then a hammer. That's not so easy to draw, is it? Like, so if we draw it, it like that with a block there. And then that's going to come down into a claw. And then we want the handle coming down there. Or oh, maybe we could get a tape measure -y kind of thing in there like that with a little box. Oh, that's squeezed in, hasn't it? <laughs> that could have done with some more planning. And then maybe we could have like a drill bit like that there as well. And you can fill that with lots of different kinds of DIY tools. Then when you are absolutely sure that the ink is all dry, you can erase those pencil lines. And that way no one will know how you got it so perfect. <laughs> then all you need to do is colour it in and subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy so you can draw lots more stores on Main Street Inkwell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a coffee shop on Main Street. If you are creating a great big diorama of the town of Inkwell, all the shops are based on a square. But um, if you're doing the whole thing, you might like to make up a cardboard template like this. So it's easy for you uh, just to make it exactly the same way each time. And look, I've got the centers all worked out as well. And that's quite useful for this one because this one goes a little bit above. And I'm gonna put a dot about there. I'm gonna draw a line across there. And another one round about, ooh, round about there. And then this is going to be the sign board and that will go across there like that. So just to help out a bit, I'm gonna draw this line coming up to that point up there and then coming down to there as well. And that's about all the planning that you're going to need. Okay, so let's start right up at the top. Whoop. And you are allowed to turn the paper around if that makes it easier for you. And do that. And I'm going to do another one. Like that. And then another one like that as well. Join those little bits there. So those are the eaves of the roof. And I'm thinking that this is the kind of place that's going to have lots of those little lights outside. So let's put those in there. It's probably got a, this is a coffee shop, remember? So it's probably got a little kind of parking space in the front or place where you can sit out and drink your coffee and the little fairy-like kind of things sort of make it more pleasant in the evenings, don't it? Makes it more attractive. Brings the customers in. Now this is going to be the bottom of the signboard, which I think we will take along there as well. We'll have a double bit there, a double bit there. 
and then we can come all the way around the outside of the store. If you go to my Patreon page, you can download a PDF with black and white and colour versions of all the stores in my Main Street drawing videos. And we're going to have a big circular sign up at the top, so we want to draw a circle there. And we're going to draw another circle on the outside, because why not? We're going to have a kind of a brick um, pattern. And I think these very simple patterns just kind of make it always look a bit more interesting I think so we'll just put that in like that and I think shopkeepers are always trying to make their stores look more interesting and different to other people so that you recognize oh that's that store now and in there we're going to draw three coffee beans one and then one over here and I'll squeeze another one in there and then we just put a kind of a little line in the middle. So those are coffee beans. And since that's brick, I think we could have some more brick. And when you draw um, a brick wall, don't draw every single brick because that will drive you mad. Uh, just draw the occasional bricks like that. And that just gives you a, a, a kind of a feeling that it's a brick wall then, doesn't it? And we can put sort of one there and one across there. Maybe one there as well. Maybe another one in there. It just kind of gives you the feeling that it's a brick wall. You don't have to draw every single brick. Now I'm going to make that just slightly lower like that. And this is going to be a striped awning, a canopy that's hanging down over the whole shop. Because that's a kind of a coffee shop kind of thing, isn't it? So we're going to put all these stripes in here. This is a bit boring, isn't it? So you just keep... <laughs> I think sometimes, yeah, I, I always want to rush these bits and just scribble them in, but you have to tell yourself, mm, keep going, just stick with it. There we go. And then we want to do little loops along the bottom as well, all the way along. I think I'll speed through that. I'll speed through it. Don't you speed through it. OK, let's put the name in here. Now, this is really difficult getting names to, to, to fit nicely. So do this in pencil. And all this pencil stuff you want to do really... You see, that's not going to fit there, is it? So let's make it a much longer O. Do this very, very gently. Don't press hard because you're going to want to... Uh, <laughs> you're going to want to erase all these things later. It's still, it's a bit... Tight. So I'm going to, while I'm writing it, I'm going to have to make it slightly longer again, I think. So we're going to make it really long letters to make that fit in there. And that will go across there, and that's going across there like that. And then we really want to get that to stretch out to fit all the way along the signboard. That worked out quite well. Now what we're going to do is have the doors, so we're going to have that come down almost to there and we'll have a step along the bottom and then we can have the door coming down there, oh coming down there, step needs to come a little bit wider and then we'll have that door going up there and then we want to have a windowsill there and we want another windowsill along there, so they're the same width, which is not easy to do. And then we'll have the windows coming down from underneath the canopy. And then these are going to be sort of window panes in a sort of coffee shoppy kind of way. And I hope these are all going to fit in nicely. They're good. <laughs> Let's draw one down the middle and split each other half there. And then we're going to want to have windows in the doors as well, aren't we? So you can see if somebody's <laughs> coming out as you're coming in. Let's do one, two, one, two, like that. And we're going to want to have door handles and probably locks as well on there. I think we might have to have a um, a fire alarm or something like that up there and then across the bottom we can have a line like that 
Now, when you're absolutely sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase those pencil lines. And if you drew them really gently, <laughs> they'll be easy to erase. Uh, and then people will go, wow, how did you do that so square and so cleverly? Uh, people will be amazed. <laughs> then you can colour it in and subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy so you can draw all the other stores on Main Street Inkwell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a clothes store on Main Street. You're going to need to draw a square, but if you're going to draw the whole town, then why not make a little pattern like this so that they will all fit together really, really nicely. If you draw a square on a piece of cardboard and then draw it out and then look, you can have these little bits there, which can help you find the middle as well. So I'm going to just draw that down there and, and I'm drawing very, very gently. I'm hardly touching the paper so that I can erase the pencil lines later. So I'm going to start by drawing all the way around the outside. If you go to my Patreon page, you can download a PDF with black and white and colour versions of all the stores in my Main Street drawing videos. So let's draw a little another line across the top there. We'll do that bit first. And then we want to draw a line coming all the way down here. And then we want the same width on this side and draw that all the way down to the bottom again. Now we're going to draw two lines across there and we're going to draw one, two, three inside each one. And this is a kind of little bit of pattern on the side of the store. And then here we're going to draw a little rectangle like that and one, two, two little marks inside it and then we'll draw kind of two bits coming down towards it. So this is all the kind of pattern that you get on the side of stores and this is an old store, this one that's been around for some time. So the surround of the store is really quite old and then they kind of put a new modern store in between. So let's put three lines there as well. And this all helps to make it look more interesting as well. Now down here we can do a kind of a stone pattern like that, like it's been made of stone blocks built one on top of another. And when we get to the top here, then we can just do and like that behind that bit of pattern. And if you want, we can put another bit of pattern in there as well. Now, at last, we're going to come to the clothes store and the door is going to be on the halfway mark. So what I'm going to do is draw a line right the way across the halfway mark with the same distance gap on each side. And then we want to come above it because there are windows above the door. So we'll draw a line like that. So we get this kind of rugby or American football post kind of shape at the end. Or it's an H, isn't it? Kind of shape. And then we can go across the top like that. And then we want to work out how wide is our door. So this is the center line here. So I'm going to put little marks just to give me a bit of help. So I'm thinking actually, that, yeah, so that's where we're thinking that the door is going to be. And then we want to come straight down and straight down like that. Now inside here, we want to have window frames like this. So this is all, all the kind of way that shops are put together. It's kind of a hole in the wall. And then you put your kind of storefront design in the middle of it. And everybody wants theirs to look different because you don't want your shop to look the same as everybody else, do you? And then here we're going to have a door frame coming all the way down and a door frame coming all the way down there. And then we want a window sill. So that's the bottom part of the window where the rain can drip off like that. And then here we're going to have a little panel, which just makes it look more interesting. All these little things make it look more interesting. And then we're going to want to have 
this window frame in here again like that and then we're going to want a window in the door so that will come down there and across to there and down to about there and this one's going to have a letterbox for the post to come through and that's going to come there and up there with another kind of pattern that matches across the bottom now we're going to have lettering across here so again very very gently do that in pencil and plan this out because it's really difficult to get um, lettering to fit nicely and neatly okay so that looks about right for me and I'm gonna do this really simple lettering C L O T of course you might want to give it a completely different name you might want to name this shop with your name like instead of Annie's clothes or something like that. What a, I'm not saying your name is Annie, but you know what I mean. And you might want to, or you might know a shop already that you want to give it that name. This is going to have very simple lettering at the top. We're going to want to have a door handle. So we put two little circles, a line between it. Maybe we want to have the key thingy there. And we're going to have a little circle with two lines coming down and then a thing there saying open. And I think this shop should have a number over it. So which is the street number. And I'm going to call this number 12 like that. And then I think if it's a closed shop, we need to have something in the window. So I'm going to draw a little curve like that on each side and then down there and down there like that. So this is a neck, okay, that's the shoulders. We're going to come down to the waist and then that's a skirt. And then that's going to be the stand that this dress is on. And then this one's going to be shoulders. And I think we're going to have sleeves with this one. And let's put a little pattern on this. So we have the sleeves like that. And we're going to have a very kind of pencil skirt on that one there like that. And then the last thing is to sort of make these windows look a bit like glass. And we can do that with these little, you don't want to do too much just little lines and make sure they're all going in the same direction like that like that and don't do them over the <laughs> over the little drawing you've done but that will sort of help to make it look like it's kind of shiny-ish sort of glass like that and then when you are absolutely sure that your ink is dry you can erase all those pencil lines and no one will know how <laughs> you did this so accurately and if you're going to cut this out color it and cut it out you might find it's easier to do a nice big dark black line all the way around the outside it just makes it easier to cut out and easier to color over the edges then all you need to do is to color it in and subscribe to draw stuff real easy in this video i'm going to show you how to draw the chemist or drugstore on main street if you are building up a street scene following my how to draw stores on Main Street Inkwell, then they're all based on this square pattern. So you could make yourself a template. So all you need to do is just to go around the outside like that. And then you can have the midway points marked as well, just to make it easier for you. So you can go across and know exactly where you are. So to draw a pharmacy or a chemist shop or a drugstore, whatever you want to call it. We're going to start by drawing two lines across like that. And then we can come up a little bit like this. And then this is going to be the signboard. 
going to tell you what's going on. And then I think I'm just going to go all around the outside as well. If you go to my Patreon page, you can download a PDF with black and white and colour versions of all the stores in my Main Street drawing videos. And above the store, I'm going to have some windows. So draw that. Imagine a line going across there. And then let's do a similar amount there to there. And then we're going to want two more in the middle like that and then we're going to have arched windows across the top and then if we draw out a bit like that then this is going to be a kind of a brick lintel across the top so this is kind of an old Victorian store the building is kind of old with a modern chemist pharmacy uh, drugstore downstairs and let's just do these with um, sash windows so we do a little curve like that across and down a little curve across and down and then we want to come around to finish off the window frame like that And I'm going to have some kind of lamps just lighting up the top here. So they're going to come that way. I think we'll like that. And then let's put some brickwork in here like that. Now, when it comes to doing bricks, on a building you can <laughs> you spend all day drawing in every single brick or you can just do little brick effects like this so if you do like a half brick and then a full brick and a, like that another one there and then a, so you do a short one and then a long one and then from here we can do the same short one long one short one long one and then we can put a couple here where we sort of put them over each other like that long one and a short one long one and a short one sort of fitting it in like a jigsaw then here i think we need to put the lettering don't we p h a r m a c y now that's not really fitting is it there so i'm going to stretch this out a little bit now, when you do this, press very gently because you're going to erase the letters later. And if you press too hard, you won't be able to. <laughs> so let's come down there. So it's P, H, A, R. M. I'm trying to make these a little bit wider so it stretches across now. C and Y. And you know, I'm going to put in a little burglar alarm or fire alarm there. And while I'm at the top, let's do this glass. So we do little bits like that just to give this sort of glass effect. And that just kind of shimmers across the grass glass <laughs> like that and now we can build the store so i'm going to draw two lines down the side so these are like the side walls of the store and then you just got a hole downstairs and you kind of put a oops you put a a, a shop front in there and we want to kind of work balance this out here so if we do something like that so that each space here is about the same that will work then we'll start off by drawing two vertical lines like that. So this is going to be the main door to the store. And we'll have a little fan light, we would call that. 
and we're going to have this house store is going to be number oh let's call it number 19 in main street i've probably done one already called 19 <laughs> i'll have to change it later and then we want to do another one coming vertically here and another coming vertically there and then we want to have a big kind of door handle like that and then we can put in here a line going across and behind it and that will continue right the way across all the other windows so it's a great big wall of glass really isn't it you're going to have a little sign there telling you the days of the week that it's open and then here you're going to have one of those light up green crosses like that and they usually have a kind of a, a line in between like that and on this side let's put an old-fashioned um, apothecary's bottle because that's another kind of symbol for for a chemist or a pharmacy apothecary <laughs> drugstore <laughs> all these different names and you're going to see something going on inside aren't you so we want to see a little bit of something so you can draw this kind of hesitant line like that and this is going to be like shelves in there and it's quite good if you do that kind of slightly feathery kind of line oh we need another one there um, then that makes it look more sort of wispy and kind of inside on the other side of the glass like that. And then we're going to put lots of bottles and boxes and things like that on the shelves. And then in the distance you may see like a counter or something like that, which also might have things on it. And you don't need to draw every detail because it's on the other side of the glass. It's kind of hazy and you can just draw very hazy pictures like that and then we need to put the glass effect on all these windows and it doesn't matter that you're crossing over an image there already that bottle because that's on the inside of the glass and same here so you're kind of almost crossing them out aren't you and there and on the door and you can just just flick these lines across and keep them all in the same angle like that. Like that. Then when you're sure that the ink is dry, you can erase any of those pencil lines you made and no one will know how you managed to do it so <laughs> cleanly and cleverly and accurately. Then all you need to do is colour it in and subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy so you can come back and draw all the other stores on Main Street Inkwell. In this video, I'll show you how to draw the candy store on Main Street. The store is a square, but if you're drawing the whole of Main Street Inkwell, you might like to make yourself a square thing like this so that all your stores will be the same size so you can stick them all together and make a great big Main Street. You can also work out where the centres are and that will make it much easier for you. So I'll draw a line across whoop, there like that and one down there. Draw in pencil very, very gently so you can erase it later. Now, in fact, I'm going to draw a line across there and a line down about there too, about there. So first of all, I'm going to draw all the way around the outside. If you go to my Patreon page, you can download a PDF with black and white and color versions of all the stores in my Main Street drawing videos. And then just above the midway line, I'm going to draw a line across like that. You can see that line there, I'm going to draw lots of lines coming down. So this is going to be like a canopy, a striped awning canopy that comes down over the front window and the door and gives it that kind of candy stripe look. <laughs> That's where the word candy stripe comes from. Like that. And then we want nice little loops at the end. Now here we're going to draw 
These are like the side walls which are holding the whole place up and draw two little bits across there at the bottom and one, two, three, one, two, three. It's just to make it look prettier really, I think. One, two, three, four. To put these little bits in here, it's just add some shape and personality to the place. Now this is going to be where the door is in here. So we want to get a kind of a door shaped size like that. And then that's going to be the door frame. It's going to be the step at the bottom. We're going to think that the door is actually coming about there. So now we're going to want to draw little windows. That's four. How many are we going to have? Like that. And I think that's probably enough because we need to fit a door handle and a key <laughs> lock. And we'll have a letterbox down at the bottom like that. And then here we can draw a window sill. So that's going to come across to about there. So the Leave a gap the same distance up and go across like that. And then that can go up. That can go up and then you can come down if you want and come down. And then I'm going to draw these patterns like that. So they're like bricks or something like that. Holding up the window. And then we're also going to want to have the window frame. And that's going to go up in and underneath the canopy there. Let's put some candy in the front. So we can do this quite loose. I'm going to do one, two, three, four. So these are going to be jars, candy jars in the window. And I'm going to draw the, ooh, that doesn't quite fit, does it? So I'm going to draw the labels on the front. And you can see all the candy inside. And I'm just going to put blah, 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 blah. But if you want to, you can write all your favourite candies in there. And then we want the same up here. One, two, three four and then it wants to come out and around out and around like that I think that's what you want to see in a proper old-fashioned candy store isn't it see all these <laughs> big jars stuffed full <laughs> I just remember as a kid getting really worried my favorite was peanut brittle which is like peanuts in hard toffee and and I was always worried because there would hardly be any left because I think that somebody else really liked it and they would <laughs> buy lots of it. I was wor always worried there wouldn't be enough left. Now here we're going to go there and like that. And we want to write candy. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to draw quite so high as that. And I'm going to do C and a big space in between. Big space in between big space in between and a big space in between. We can make that a bit wider actually and a bit more like that because we're going to do bubble writing here and we're going to go all the way around that line like that. Okay and then let's come down the side of that A and around and up and across down around and up. I went a bit wobbly there. <laughs> That just makes it look more interesting. Down and around, down and around and up and around and join up. So it's following around the lines that you've drawn for the simple letter and that will give you this really good kind of bubble writing like that. All the way around like that. And then what we can do is put a little bit of clever shading in on these sort of lower parts like that. That that wants to be that side I think. <laughs> you can get a bit confusing and that helps to solve that little mistake I made there. Bring that down there and in there. 
So this will make it look a little bit 3D, won't it, like that. And you can also put some little circles in there to make it look shiny. Oh, I love doing lettering like that. And now comes the fun part, okay? So we're going to put giant lollipops up here. Lollipops? We call them lollipops. And you call them popsicles? I don't know. There's people have different names for things all around the world. One, two, uh, one, two. And then we want a curve there and a curve because there's one behind. Another one there because there's one behind. And the same again. And let's put the sticks in like that. And there. We can have that on the other side, can't we? Like that. And then we're going to do a spiral pattern. So I'm going to do this a few times. So watch what I do. And if you get stuck, you can always stop and start again anytime you like. So that's where I'm going to finish. So I'm going to come in around on the inside like that. And when I come to that point there, I'm going to stop. And I'm going to come around into a spiral. One, two, three, like that. And then come back again. So here we want the outside bits like that. And we just need to see that spirally bit like that. Start here, come all the way around the outside. Stop, come back, one, two, three, around, and back. And there we just do the top bit and the bottom bit. And we want to see a bit of a, a kind of a blob like that. Here we come around the outside, stop, one, two, three, blob, and then come back and join there. Okay, and then we'll do those bits, and we'll bring that around so that it kind of joins up like that. And this is the final one, one, two, three, one, two, three, blob and come back around like that. Good. <laughs> and then I think we'll just put some random bits of candy in there where you can, just to sort of fill it up and make it look more exciting and interest, probably in all those little dips is where we want them. And in the corners and in those extra little places like that. And you can fit a bigger bit in there and a smaller bit there maybe a bit in there and a bit in there and I think maybe a piece in there and we can color those all different candy colors and make it look fantastic now when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase those pencil lines and look it all starts to look fantastic and people will go how did you do that so neatly and you'll go hmm, 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 hmm. And that's how we do that um, we want to make this look a bit like glass, don't we? So do these lines. You don't need much. And we can do bits in there as well. I'm going to make that look like there's a little fan light up above there. There, and we do a couple of lines coming through there like that. Then all you need to do is colour it in and subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy so you can draw the rest of Main Street Inkwell. In this video, I'll show you how to draw the burger bar on Main Street. If you're drawing all these stores, you might like to make a square template. All the stores are designed on a square, so you can make the square any size you like to fit the diorama you're going to make. And you can make these little marks here to show where the midway points are, which are quite useful because I know I'm going to want to know where the middle of the line is for the doors. And I'm going to want to have a line coming across there as well. So I'm going to have these walls on the outside about there. Now I'm pressing, I'm not pressing hard here. I'm hardly touching the paper uh, because I'm going to erase the lines later and it uh, makes it a lot easier and much later. So we want to have this coming up just a little bit above there like that. And then we're going to want to have a curve there as well like that across that bit there. And we're going to have a little bit up at the top there as well. 
So I am going to start just by drawing a black line all around the outside. If you go to my Patreon page, you can download a PDF with black and white and colour versions of all the stores in my Main Street drawing videos. And then I'm going to draw this curve like that. And then a little bit on each side there. And then we're going to draw another curve coming around like that. Then we want this line to come down and this line to come down there like that. And let's put that line in across the top there as well. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have this kind of stone edges. So stone blocks, so you've got big ones and then a not quite so big one, or it's coming deeper in and then that's not coming quite so deep. So this is making this sort of pattern down the edge of the whole thing. And we'll get down, oh, that's a bigger one, isn't it? And then maybe a smaller one there. And we want to do like the same on this side. And of course, some of you I know will <laughs> want to get things absolutely perfect. So you might want to put rulers across to get them exactly the same on each side, but it doesn't really matter. We're just sketching it. You can just just draw it, and of course, you, if you want to use rulers, you can use a ruler. There are no rules. Well, except on a ruler, of course. <laughs> no rules in this drawing. Now, this side is going to be brick. So we're going to do. We're not going to draw every single one. Maybe a short one there. So maybe just sort of like that. And. Just a, just a pair there and one on the bottom and then we can put sort of little ones in between so you don't want to draw every single brick on a building because <laughs> you'll go crazy if you just sort of draw a few it gives you the impression it just tells you this is brick and that's all you really need so we put three on there shall we like that and there and then a few smaller ones like that good now we're going to build the the sort of windows and things inside so so we're going to draw a line across here like that and then another line just underneath it and then we're going to draw a kind of window frame down the side so a storefront is really just a hole in the wall and then you kind of build your things into that hole. And so we want to know roughly where the doors are going to be. So let's draw a line down there. We want that same distance to about here. Oh, I think that's not quite so wide, but anyway, it's roughly the same. And then we can draw the top windows like that hang across and then we want the door coming down here and that's going to have a big handle so it's going to be a big sheet of glass the whole thing is going to be a sheet of glass and we'll have sort of bits at the bottom there so you can't keep the window in there and i think burger bars usually have a posters in the window don't they telling you what we've got so we'll put beef and then a burger like that with things on the top and put veg and another burger with little buns and things on the top, little sesame seeds like that. And then we probably got a little sign round about there telling you the opening times. And I think we'll have a, a burglar alarm up there. And then we want to have the word burger up at the top for the sign, B-U-R-G-E-R. -E and if you, if you do it in pencil, you can work out how it's going to fit in. And so I'm going to do a kind of bubble writing for this. Like B U. 
So sort of going around the pencily bits that you've done already. I think I've got to make this a little bit wider to make it fit, to make it stretch all the way across. Uh, oh, and I'll make that go across a little bit more there. Great, and then we can put some more bricks in there as well. And, and try and sort of lay them, sort of one there and then another one there, so they're not just stacked on top of each other, because that's not how you see bricks, is it, usually? Put those in there. So put one there and another one like that. So you've got sort of, they're not stacked one on top of the other, they're aside from each other, like you see bricks in a wall. There we go. And I think this store can be number, this can be number 40. I'm ne numbering all these stores. I'm probably gonna get the same number by mistake on one of them. And then here we want to have a great big giant burger picture like that. So we're going to go around the top like that. And then we want some bits of lettuce and pickle and stuff sticking out. And then we're going to want the patty, which could be a vegetarian, could be anything, bean, <laughs> bean patty, beef patty, whatever. Like that. And little seeds on the top. I think we'll take that line up there as well. And then here, this is going to be glass, so let's put these kind of glass lines in there like that. And you can go over the poster as well, because that makes it look like the poster is stuck on the window from the inside. And these are going to be glass doors, like that. And then all you need to do is erase all those pencil lines, which will be easy, because you didn't press too hard, did you, <laughs> kid? Then all you need to do is colour it in and subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy so you can draw lots more stores on Main Street Inkwell. In this video, I'll show you how to draw the bread shop on Main Street. If you want to draw all the stores in Main Street Inkwell, they're all, they're all based on a square and you can make that any size you like. But once you decided on a size, why not make a template like this out of a piece of cardboard or whatever? Um, which just makes it much easier to set the whole thing up. So you're ready to draw. And I'm going to start by drawing right the way across that midline like that. And a little bit up there. And then I'm going to draw another line across. This is going to be the sign above the shop. And then I'm going to come just inside a little bit like that. I'm trying to draw slightly lighter with my pen. It's not quite pressing so hard. And then we're going to call it bread. B R E A D. And I'm spreading these letters out and stretching them out so that they fit nicely. And I'm going to go sort of slightly like that over the thing. So those are called serifs when you put those little extra bits on there like that and we'll sweep the ER down there like that and so we'll put the E that's a funny looking E isn't it <laughs> there we go. and the that A is there and then we're going to do another D well we haven't done a D before it's a bit like the the B isn't it there we go bread now we're going to have some windows upstairs and uh, so there's like a, a flat or an apartment upstairs. It depends whether you call it a flat or apartment. All these different places from different round the world, everybody has different names for things. So you could call this a bread shop, a bread store, or you could just call it the bakers. <laughs> and so we put two lines like that and we're gonna join them together with a curve at the top like that. And then we'll come a little bit sideways on each curve and come around like that, a little bit sideways, up and all the way around. And this is going to be a br brick lintel. 
over the top of the window like that. So this is an old store that's been on the street for a long time. <laughs> And there are people living upstairs. So what we'll also have, I think we'll have a little, two little bits like that. And put two on the other side there with a little bobble on the top. And then this is going to be like a, a, a little mini kind of fence <laughs> so that you don't fall out if you open the windows. So you wouldn't want that, would we? And... Have you ever thought about the people who live upstairs in the shop? I've always thought that would be a really exciting place to live. So I'm going to come across like that and like that. So I come down there and it's a bit tricky kind of getting these all even. So it doesn't matter if the middle one is just slightly bigger. If you make the two outside ones the same then the middle one can sort itself out, can't it? So if we come up like that and down like that and down and then the middle one will <laughs> just be its own size but it'll all look okay. And let's put some glass effect in there. So we're just going to put these kind of I don't know, little, well I just call them glass lines but it just kind of helps to make it look a bit shiny I suppose doesn't it so it's a bit like glass up there so you can't really see in the windows so now I'm going to draw all the way around the outside if you go to my patreon page you can download a pdf with black and white and color versions of all the stores in my main street drawing videos and I'm going to have a little signboard outside the store so we'll do that first so this is the kind of nearest thing to you isn't it and so if something's in front of everything there's that's what you want to draw first and that's going to say like open and it's going to tell you what they've got for sale today all the fantastic offers different kinds of bread and then we need to plan this a little bit there's the middle so when you do any planning in pencil, you really want to draw very, very gently now because you want to erase it later. So I'm trying to split this into three like that. OK. And I'm going to, so I'm then going to start by drawing a line down there and another line next to it. And we'll draw a line right down at the end here. We're going to do something similar here, so that's going to come down and down, and you'll see a little bit at the bottom there as well, and all the way down on that side. Uh, next, we're going to draw all the way across like that, and I'm going to make this door number 202 Main Street. And then this is going to be the middle, so you can have two doors. And then we're going to need another double. This is like the part of the whole frame of the building. Like that. And then we're going to draw lines coming across. Like that. So these are going to be a kind of a decorative kind of line. But also, on, well on some of the windows, they're like the window sill. And then we're going to go in the middle of these, we're going to draw these little frames. So these these are just decoration, really. It's just making it all look prettier. And on the door, they're going to be there as well. Oh, I went a bit high there, didn't I? So let's come back down. If you make a mistake, look, I've gone much too high there, haven't I? If you make a mistake, don't worry about it. Uh, just keep drawing and as the wonderful thing about drawing is if you make a mistake somehow if you just keep going along the way you'll go oh maybe I can do this and do that and you can hide the mistake or even turn the mistake into something really brilliant but just keep drawing and somehow the drawing just all comes together at the end so don't worry about it and then here we want to draw a frame inside so this is going to be a great big window frame and here we want to have a window frame too. 
and in fact we want to have window frames all the way across so even the doors but before we do that I'm going to just put um, there and there so there's going to be the door handles so you've got something to hold on to to open and close the door you have to think of all these things <laughs> there's so much to think about this is quite a complicated storefront isn't it and that's going to come down there and then that's going to come there so we want frames in all of them and have I missed one yes I think I have am I going to be able to fit that in above the number which I should have done afterwards shouldn't I and we'll see if we can fit that in there we did good um, and I think here on the door we can have a little thing saying that days of the week when they're open and here we might have a a burglar alarm or something because their bread is so gorgeous people are going to want to come and steal it in the night so actually they get up really early in the morning bakers don't they so they're going to be there in the middle of the night and then look let's have some bread in the in the window sort of just piled up in the window to get your mouth watering when you're walking past and think oh that looks nice and we'll have some more sort of there like that I can smell smell that fresh bread <laughs> um, we'll have it all in there like that Ooh, and some more in there piled up in the front window and then we just need to make everything look a bit glass like so again we're going to do these lines and you can put some through the bread there as well um, because the bread is on the other side of the glass so so these shiny marks are on the front side so we can have one through there so it doesn't matter if the shiny lines go through the drawing although you might think but I've just does draw beautiful bread I don't want to put lines through it <laughs> now when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase those pencil lines that you made because you didn't press too hard did you if you press too hard it gets really difficult to erase those pencil lines then all you need to do is color it in and subscribe to draw stuff real easy so you can draw all the other stores on main street inkwell and create a great big diorama in this video i'll show you how to draw the bookstore on main street all the stores I'm drawing in this series are designed on a square so you can put them one next to each other and make a diorama but you know if you're doing that you might want to make a cardboard square like this so that you can uh, just draw it out really quickly and easily and you can find the middle points as well which are quite useful now in this one um, I'm going to start about there so basically we've got a curve coming around like that and a curve coming around like that oh does it look the right curvy <laughs> so so you make all your mistakes in pencil that's the easy thing and then but don't press too hard because you're going to have to erase these pencil lines later and if you press too hard that gets really difficult and can make a real mess so let's make all our mistakes drawing oh no Where's that going? That's coming around this. We don't want that line there at all. That's very confusing, isn't it? So you see, I make mistakes, but you can erase them if you do them in pencil. We all make mistakes. Don't worry about it. And there we go. Now I'm going to start this by drawing all the way around the outside. And you might want to make this line a bit thicker as well if you're going to cut it out it kind of makes it easier with the cutting out and the sort of sticking them all together and then we're going to very very carefully come around this curve and you are allowed to turn the paper <laughs> so you can see I'm, I'm drawing in a curve around from my wrist like that which just makes it easier to get a nice curve and if you turn the paper at the same time that makes it easier for you too and then we're going to want to do the outer line. So we want to try and keep these sort of equal distance apart. I was going to say parallel, but you don't really get parallel <laughs> with uh, curves, do you? That's all about straight lines. So, but when we come into the final straight here, now we're in parallel. 
And this is going to be brick. So what we're going to do is bricks with little gaps in between. And this <laughs> you might find a bit boring. So I think I should probably speed this up. But I'll just say that however boring it is, it just take your time. And if you do it really nicely and neatly, it really pays off. And you see, I didn't quite get it right there, but it doesn't. Oh, and there again. It doesn't really matter if you make the odd mistake. Because when you look at a building, you know, all those details, there are quite a few mistakes in there sometimes. And, and, and it, you only see the mistake when you're looking really up close. And when you stand back, you don't see all the mistakes. And nobody's going to say, yeah, you made a mistake. <laughs> because they're not going to see it. And don't forget that if I'm going too fast or you get a bit lost, you can always stop and start and replay any time you like. You're not going to break YouTube or break the internet or anything like that. Oh, that's a sense of achievement. <laughs> so this is like a little archway and the shop is kind of slightly in the back of it. And I'm going to draw a line coming down here. So it's like a hole in the wall and they have to now put the front of the shop in there. So we're going to need that to hold up the door. I'm going to decide how wide the door is going to be. It's going to be about there. So we're going to need another one coming down from the top like that. There. And we'll decide that the door is going to be about that high there. So we need a cross piece. And this shop is going to be, let's say, number... Oh... 37. So the window, a little bit of window above the door is always a good place to put uh, the, the number of the street number of the store. Sometimes it can be very difficult finding the number of the store. If you're walking down the street and, the, and you know it's number 42 or something and you just can't find any numbers anywhere sometimes. Open. And then here we'll have um, another panel down there. So this will be glass and we'll put little kind of glass marks in there. But oh, this can be glass too. Why not? So you can see through. That's the thing about shops. You want lots of windows so you can see what's going on inside because they're trying to sell you stuff, aren't they? They want you to say, come in and see what we got. And entice you in. Right, so that's going to be the bottom of the main window. I think we'll have another frame there. And this is all going to be like window frame there. And that might have another line in there for the window frame. And then this, actually, we could make this some kind of pattern, couldn't we? Uh, I think I'll zip through this because this will take a while. If you'd like colouring and printout sheets of all the stores, in Main Street Inkwell and go to my Patreon page. And I'm thinking now that we can have whatever this material here is, we can do the same here. So this will give you something to do. This will keep you quiet for a moment. Well, it won't keep you quiet because you can hear all that dot, 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 dotting, can't you? And I think we'll do the same down below here. This is obviously some kind of interesting surface that they've put on the wall. Now up above here we want to have a big sign saying books. So I'm going to do B O O K S. I'm putting a big space between all these letters because I'm going to go around the outside like bubble letters. Go all the way around the outsides and then on the insides too, like that. And then that gives you really neat kind of bubble letters like that. Uh, not sure about this one, there we go, that's about right. And then this will go up and around, and down, up, down to there, up, around like that. So this is a really neat way of doing bubble letters. You can see my um, whole thing on how to draw bubble letters and we can make them look a bit 3D as well by doing that and that and that 
a little curve there, a curve there, and a curve there, and a curve there. Bring that down there, like that, and there. And we'll come around there, a little one there. And we can make them shiny as well by putting these little blobs in. That makes it look a bit more exciting, doesn't it? Then in the window, we're going to want to see some books, aren't we? So we'll see. Um, kind of, and you can just do. Oh, I fit, should fit another one in there, shouldn't I? You can do sort of strange shapes like that and a bit of lines for the writing on the book. And then there might be some more behind on a kind of a shelf. So we have to come like that and then put a line in between. And something like that. We could maybe have a banner in the window as well, couldn't we, like that. We could say author here today. As I said, draw these very, very gently in pencil. Don't press too hard because you want to erase it. But it's just so that you can mark it out to work out how you're going if it's going to fit. Author here today. And then we want to make it look like glass. So we're going to put these and the lines across like we got in the window there and I'm thinking that maybe this should be in this kind of pattern here as well when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase those pencil lines and no one will know how you were so clever to get it <laughs> so square and so accurate then all you need to do is color it in and subscribe to draw stuff real easy so you can come back and draw lots more stores on main street inkwell in this video i'll show you how to draw the barber shop on main street if you want to draw all the stores in town they're based on a square so you can have it really small really big but once you decided your size why not make a template which is a piece of card and you just can draw all around it and you can mark out where the middle is and bang you're ready to go to draw the barber's shop i'm going to start by going all the way around the outside a nice thick black line makes it easy to cut out if you're going to stick them all together and make a street and if you find this all too much for you of course you can go to my patreon page and download the whole thing it's for ready for you to color in and cut out or even have it ready colored in so we want to find the middle there. I'm just going to go slightly above the middle. There, that's where we are. And I'm going to draw a line right the way across. And then I'm going to draw a line coming down there. And a line coming down there. And these are like the side walls of the house or the building. And you just have a hole in the middle and then you kind of put your storefront in there and put your sign up above. And we want to make these side walls look a bit fancy. So this is going to be an older building. And the barbers kind of moved into this older building. Well, they've probably been there forever, actually, haven't they? So and that's a kind of a little fancy thing. And I think we'll do some little lines across like that. So these are all bits in the kind of in, in the plaster, in the moulding. And we'll have something like that either side there as well. And we'll do the same there. And then we'll put something across there like that. Maybe two lines. Tidy that up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That just gives us these fancy end walls. And then we're going to want to put a sign up here. So if we start about there, come in that same amount about there and come down and then across and across. And then I'm going to put two lines across like that. 
And the standard sign for a barber is this stripy pole. So I'm going to put these stripes on there like that. And we put them all the way across there. But I think also we're going to want a barber's pole sign. So this is kind of sticking out. So as you're walking down the street, you'll be able to see this. And they're usually spinning around as well, aren't they? And put little stripes like that. And a little bobble on the top and on the bottom. And or we'll have a, a burglar alarm there. And then we're going to want to write barber. So let's, we could put these lines across just to help us a bit. B, A, R, B, E, R. So I've got a bit of space there. So it feels about right. Draw these letters in very gently. Don't press too hard with your pencil because you want to erase them later. And let's see how we do with this. B. So take your time with the lettering. Lettering is... <laughs> Not the easiest thing in the world, so but if you take your time, you get there. B A R. And just do nice sort of round shapes like that. B and a slightly bigger one on the bottom. And then we want the E. And have I got too much space or not enough? That feels about right. There, that's quite well spaced across. And then I'm going to put a whole, it's like a frame going in here, right, and that's across the top, and then we're going to have one coming down there, so it's like a wooden frame, and then this is going to be the frame that's going to hold the door, or hinges on it, so that's going to be the width of the door, and then that will come down there, and then we're going to want the windowsill going across there like that, so this will be the window, we can have a little skylight thing there. And then let's have this number 16 Main Street. And then we're going to have quite a lot of glass in this one. So a lot of glass in the door. And we're going to want to have to have a handle there and a door lock and a letterbox and a door sill along the bottom. And we're going to want to have, oh, we'll have all sorts of stuff written on there, like this is going to be opening times that's written on there like that. And then you always kind of seem to have photographs in the windows in barbers, don't you? Some handsome guys with their haircuts like that, give them a very square jaw like that and like that and we can have another one with a more kind of floppy haircut like that, like that and I think quite often you see in the window you can see the barber <laughs> cutting someone's hair can't you so let's see what we can do with this uh, we're going to have a person in the chair and draw kind of very lightly so that's going to be his head that's going to be his ears and he's in the chair with the thing all <laughs> tucked up all around him like that and he's probably got the back of the chair like that and then we'll see the barber here as well. And he'll have hair like that. And he's looking down. And he's doing something there. And something there with a comb. Let's we'll make it a comb because that's a lot easier and to draw than scissors. If you know that the ink is dry. Then you can erase all those pencil lines and no one will know how you managed to draw it so neatly. <laughs> I think you're a genius. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of brickwork up here just to make it a bit more interesting. Like that. Uh, there. So we'll do kind of a long one and then a short one. Long one. Oh, and a short one. 
and I've gone over the edge that it does not matter okay when I know you can see it I can see it because we know what happened then but um, you know when when you make a little mistake like that it doesn't really matter you just keep drawing keep drawing and then at the end you'll have forgotten all about it and it, it won't matter anymore so we'll do those are bricks and then we'll do a bit more sort of brick down here like that brick thick big one small one like that and then I think we might have some sort of brick in here as well and we're going to want a line across there too and I think just to make it really busy I'm going to put lines across there and I'm going to put these the lines down here it's trying to make them look like sort of Roman Greek columns isn't it it doesn't really work but it's, <laughs> it's what they used to do it's trying to make it look more expensive and then just to make this look like glass in the window we're going to put lines across and we're going to put lines across those lovely drawings that we've done already because they're behind the glass and and we're going to have some glass in there as well and in there too then all you need to do is colour it in and subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy so you can come back and draw all the other stores on Main Street Inkwell thanks for watching bye <laughs>